morning everybody so I'm really excited today we are filming a video I've been wanting to do for a while you guys already know by the title we are testing yes. a high rated we're gonna park over here we are going to test a five-star nail salon today um, I think this place in particular might actually have four and a half stars I'm not sure but this place is called Lady Vixen's Nail and Spa. So all I did was I basically did like a general search of New Hampshire and I found the top rated nail salons. Now I picked this salon because not only did it have a high rating, but I've also been here once before, but just to do a delivery. I didn't get my nails done, walked in through a front door, went right to the desk and walked out. Um, and it looked beautiful from what I could see. So I want to go in. So I need a full set and I'm going to put a picture in between Ella and I or something somewhere um, to show you the exact nails that I'm looking for. I'm going to accept no less. They tell me that they can't do it or that it's gonna cost more money or they have to use dip or they have to use a certain nail polish to do this. I'm not a nail technician, but I also understand, like I've gotten my nails done for so many years, so many years since I think I was 15 I first started to get my nails done so I kind of know what to look for what's normal what's probably not normal um, I also watch a lot of YouTube videos and stuff of women doing their nails like from start to finish so again I don't have all the knowledge that I need but I think I'm more well educated than just anyone you could pull off the street um, mm -hmm. So again, I know what I'm looking for. My biggest things that I'm looking for, A, do they give me what I want? When I go in there and I show them the picture, do they harass me to try to do something different or do they just say, this is what my client wants, so this is what I'm gonna do. That is number one. I've been to a lot of bad nail salons. Number two, just the cleanliness of the area in general. I wanna make sure there's no odd smell, there's no like, uh, visible dirt or mold friendliness of the staff I want good customer service I don't necessarily need to have a conversation with my nail technician but again I want her to be able to just give me what I want not give me a hard time about anything just do it and do it politely please and price we're gonna look at price as well and if I think if it's worth it um, including like customer service and stuff because I would pay more to go to a salon where they don't rush me and I get what I actually want now I haven't read the reviews every video that I've seen like this have mm. all read the reviews before actually going in to get their service done I believe in the power of suggestions so I feel like if somebody left a review saying that there was an odd odor immediately in my brain I'm gonna be looking for an odd odor where I want to go in and if I was like oh this place kind of stinks and then I went on the reviews and saw someone else had mentioned it then I could be like oh like I actually noticed that so that's what we're gonna do we're gonna head in then the last thing I want to make sure that they're good with Ella a lot of the times I don't bring Ella to get them to get my nails done anymore with her going to school that gives me more opportunity to get it done without her I don't really like dragging her I did bring her iPad so she'll have something to do but I've been, also been at nail salons where they didn't really give me a ha hard time for having a kid but like do, do they offer her a seat? Do they offer her something to drink? If they offer me as well, because some places do and some places don't. Um, do they get annoyed with her easily? She's really well behaved, <laughs> bless you. She's really well behaved. So I wanna see how they treat her as well because as a busy mom, sometimes my only option is to bring her. So with all of that said, let's go in. I'm gonna record as much as I can. I honestly feel, even yeah. though I'm a public vlogger, I still feel a little bit weird about vlogging in public um no faces will be shown and all that fun stuff and ella just wanted to show you her unicorn that she got from easter <laughs> and yeah, it's all it's, sparkly it's a little it's not a unicorn but it's a new one it's a unicorn it's, it's a just beautiful baby foal unicorn a baby foal okay lady vixen nail Look spa yeah there's a bunch of tires so the location isn't like right. when i was big last night yeah and then, nice. and small now. Hello. Good, how are you? Good. Um, I am here for a full set, but I didn't make um, an you didn't appointment. You did make an appointment? No. Um, What's your first name? My first name is Shana, spelled S-H-A-I-N-A.
I put a Y in there because oh. I just wanted to. <laughs> it's okay. okay? It's, you know, it's like my, my fingers got possessed. Yeah, we just want to confuse you. <laughs> It's all right. No worries. Alright guys, we just got back in the car. So I just got my nails done. So I'll show you what I can in this video, but I'll show you when I get home. So it looks exactly like the picture. And I specifically didn't give her a lot of details. I went in and I said, showed her the picture and I picked my color. And I said, this is what I want. I like the length. I like the shape. Everything about it I like. This is what I want. And I let her do her thing. The only complaint that I will say, and it's totally my fault, I wish I got them a tiny bit longer. That's just my preference. Like they're long, they def they're definitely long. I prefer them a little tiny bit longer, um, but she does such a beautiful job. Um, so I'm gonna go home, we're gonna talk about all of that fun stuff in literally just a second. I just need my computer so I can pull up the reviews and see hey guys, what other people have said as well. All right guys, we are back home. I'm sitting in like the squeakiest chair possible. Um, and my neighbor is weed whacking, so that's fun. Um, but now that I'm back home, you guys are actually resting on my computer. Um, the reason I couldn't read the reviews in the car is because my phone was filming, so like I couldn't eat, film and read from my phone at the same time, you know what I mean? Let me adjust you a little bit. That's so funny. I have you um, balancing using a nutcracker. Not, not that much better, but a little bit. So let's go to Yelp, hey, yelp.com. I don't know if I'm gonna be signed in already or not, but let's see. Let's see if I even have to sign in to find. So the place was called Lady Vixen, and all I did was type in New Hampshire. Lady Vixen Nails and Spa. So I was right, it has four and a half stars out of the five. I think it should have gotten the five, but it has 12 reviews. So that's all I did. When I went to go look for a nail salon this morning, I looked for the highest number of stars. And if that particular place had a high number of stars, I also made sure they had at least five reviews. So we got like a good mix. So this one particularly has 12. So let me tell you what my experience was like going there and then we will read these. A, I thought the place was minimalistic but very well decorated. Um, it was very professional looking in the front lobby. This, the secretary, the woman working the front desk was super nice. I mean, she was so kind. Um, the lady doing my nails, she was very quiet, but I like that. I don't like having conversation when I'm doing my nails. I don't know why I just like watching a movie or listening to my music or listening to a podcast. Like I just kind of like to zone out. So she didn't bug me or anything. When she was doing my nails, I mean, she followed the picture spot on. I'll show you guys um, again, a close up of my nails in just a second or like toward the end of this video. Um, but she was very kind, didn't question anything that I wanted, didn't say, no, I couldn't do this, no, I couldn't do that, or nothing was gonna be extra. Um, I spent just about the same amount that I normally would on a full set. I spent, it was $53 for a full set, which is overpriced, but I have not found another salon in this area that is cheaper than that um, for quality. So that I already, kind of expected. So the price point was around what I thought. Then I threw on a $10 tip because I just, I really liked her work. Um, I wanted to go into the bathroom because I think that's a big thing with business, with businesses. And I didn't, I, I honestly ended up thinking about that later on in the day before I filmed this part. So I didn't see their bathroom, but the rest of the place was very beautiful. They have a bunch of services. They do waxing, they do haircut. So like they had salon chairs right near the nail area. And the building was big and it was like two sections of the building divided by like a wall with like holes in it So you could technically see that there was another side, but I don't know what was over there I don't know if that was like the waxing area or whatever, um, but it was really really big um, Everybody was super nice like even when my lady came and got me to get my nails done like I was introduced to like uh, My name was told to her like normally they don't care um I didn't feel like I was rushed at all. If anything, I felt like this girl really took her time doing my nails. Even afterwards, sometimes, and I do say sometimes because I feel like this is supposed to be a thing, but I haven't had it in all the salons I've gone to, but they'll put lotion on your hands afterwards. And this girl like massaged 
each of my individual phalanges. Like she grabbed my hand at one point, like this is her hand, this is my hand. And she's just like this with a look, like she intimacy. But like, like I was into, I really liked it. I was like, wow, she's, I, I really felt like I was being pampered and like I've never gotten that experience as an at a nail salon um so I'm happy with the quality of the work I didn't feel like I was being rushed I didn't make an appointment on purpose to see what they would do they accepted my walk-in right away granted I walked in about an hour after they opened on a Monday so would I get that same service on a busy Saturday uh, probably not, <laughs> but they were very kind. They took me right away. They were really good to Ella. They gave her a seat like they didn't I've gone to nail salons where they like literally yell at her about everything They'll be like, oh, you need to sit in your chair like they like I'm like hi I'm the mom and I don't deal with that like I get right in their face and I'm like if there is a problem Please tell me because I am her mother and you don't need to yell at my child when I am right here If I'm not yelling at her probably means I don't think she's doing anything wrong So um, they're really good to her really really kind overall if I was to leave a rating I would have left a five-star rating. I was very happy very convenient location easy parking treated me like, I don't know, it was just really, really, really good. So I was happy. Let's see what Yelp, have, Yelp has to say. So let's go ahead, click on this real quick and we'll get this loaded. I'm just curious, I'm curious if there was a bad review and I wanna know why. So let's see, I like to just scroll down because at the top you kind of get these like sponsored reviews, of course they're gonna be good. Um, so let's go down. Cass says, amazing salon, went for the first time today and saw Kim for a dip manicure and my nails look perfect. Exact shape I wanted to and she asked me before continuing shaping all of them if I liked it. Salon is so clean and you can keep your file and buffer. I didn't know that, but uh, I will definitely be a regular. But that's good to know if you wanna, if you're like super into sanitation or you're like worried that they're not sanitizing the products, um, you can you can keep it, so cool. This one, so that one was given a five star. This was given a three star. And it said, this place is beautiful inside, all new and shiny. I've gone a few times, but it is outrageously expensive. I won't go back. <sighs> um, what's your name? Lori, let me tell you something a little, Lori. I don't, I think it was expensive but you're paying for a service. Like I paid $50 for brand new spanking nails. Not only did I need spanking new nails, but she had to shape them, she had to file them. And one of my nails is like hand-drawn, actually technically two, but I wanted to design. For all of that, for plus tip, $63. Again, I've been getting my nails done a real long time and uh, I just wanna check on my daughter. Yeah, I think she passed out. She, she just went down for a nap, so I'm just checking on her. Um, I don't, th I think it was expensive, but I'm also used to paying that. Like I've never gone to a salon that I did not pay $50 for a full set. Now I don't know what she specifically paid for, so maybe she felt like that she was overcharged for her service. I don't know. She doesn't specify any farther than what is on the screen here, um, but I thought it was okay. Okay, Lily from Boston, just got an ombre powder for the first time with Steve. I'm sorry if my words don't match. I'm trying to read from far and I don't have great, uh, my, my vision's not that great. I have now decided that this is my home salon. Everyone treats you like family. Lisa is absolutely amazing and always checks you, checks in to look at your nails. She is so passionate. I highly recommend Steve for anything, but especially the ombre. I love it and I plan to see Steve every three weeks. Thank you. Uh, to the salon. Very cool. Another five star. I love, love, love them. My favorites, Vaughn and Lisa. They treat me like family and they really know what to, what I want and they listen to me. If you don't like cuticle like me, they are literally the best. They clean up like no other person in New Hampshire. I, uh, it took me years until I found them and I've been with them for the past three years. I recommend them 100%. The new place is just gorgeous and extremely clean every time they have a new client and every time they have a new client, they get new towels and utensils to work. I love that. Very cool. So they seem very clean. Like, like I said, the place is very, very clean. It's minimalistic and very clean. So a lot of people agree with that. Um, another five star from Tati. I called and informed the front desk of my nails and they make an appointment the very next day to fix my nails free of charge. 
so something must have happened. Um, the lady who did my nails the first time did a great job and I am happy with how they came out. Furthermore, I was contacted by the owner who is extremely professional and apologetic. The team is getting trained and their level of professionalism is impressive. Another five star from Rebecca. I love my nails. Lisa did an amazing job and she is so friendly and wants to make sure that you are happy with your nails. My na nails came out fantastic, just the way I wanted them. The salon is perf uh, su also super clean and gorgeous inside. Thank you, Lisa. So I'm seeing like another four star, another five star, four star, five star, five star. I'm just scrolling real quick to see if I see any bad ones, but I literally don't. This page one out of one, so we've hit the bottom. So let's read maybe one more five star. Um, we'll read this one from Diane because it has, I mean, it has a little bit of length to it. Lady Vixen Nails and Spa is the absolute best. I will never go anywhere else. Vaughn is my nail technician and she is skilled, detail-oriented, friendly, and just a nice person. Lisa is very friendly. The spa is very clean, so I haven't experienced the spa. If you guys are interested and like this video, let me know because I would be happy to test out the spa part of this five-star or four and a half star uh, salon. The spa is very clean. It is clear that clean cleanliness is a priority and this is why I wish I saw the bathrooms. For Lisa and the entire crew, every single time I get a polish manicure and or a pedicure, I know I am getting 100% from Vaughn. She is very talented. Okay, this one had like a negative like twist to it a little bit. This was one of the four stars one and this one was from Marianne. She said really nice and clean nail salon used to go to the nail design by Lisa prior to her opening this new salon. It's bigger and easier to get uh, an appointment than before. Wasn't really happy with my gel today. Some lady who hardly speaks English did them. Lisa is a bit snobbish now. Oh gosh because I just read a whole bunch of reviews raving about Lisa so Maybe she just had an off day, it happens. Um, always had Vaughn or her mom to do my nails in the past. We'll book with them next time. Overall, it was okay. Salon is very, very fancy. It's it's glamorous, guys. Front desk guy is nice and very helpful. I had a woman, so the woman was very helpful, though. Uh, very, very beyond clean. Would give five stars, but wasn't happy with my gel mani, but I totally love my pedicure. The only thing is I wish that she um, elaborated uh, elaborated a little bit more on why she doesn't like her mani. Maybe it was just like she's just being picky about it. Maybe she didn't like the color. Maybe she didn't quite like the shape. I'm not sure, but I, I would really like to look more into that. Anyways, guys, let me go ahead and show you my nails real quick, and I will kind of give you my final thoughts. So, again, you guys saw the picture. Let me put the picture up on the screen again so that is the exact picture that I used so minus the length which again more is my fault I just should have told her to keep them a little bit longer they are sp I mean spot on the flowers were hand done hand drawn so they're not you know utterly perfect like there's a little like she smudged a tiny bit over here but it's so incredibly subtle I don't even care they're just beautiful and I'm so happy with them so that was my experience going to a five star um nail salon in my area I was really happy and I like I really want to go back there like over and over and over again they were so good um let me know if you guys are interested in me trying out the five star spa also I'm thinking about doing the like trying the worst rated restaurant I was very afraid to do the worst rated nail salon because I've had so many bad experiences I'm like girl I've already done that video like a thousand times time so that's why I wanted to do a better um, nail salon but I'd totally be down to doing the worst rated restaurant something let me know uh, go ahead and follow me on my other social medias to leave your comments or questions on this thumbnail or the video and uh, I love you guys very much I will see you guys in my next one bye